Hello and today I'm going to be doing a video review of 7-Zip and WinRAR. So first let's start with 7-Zip. 7-Zip is freeware and open source so you're free to download this, do whatever you want with it and it's a pretty good program. Well WinRAR, um, I have the trial installed at the moment so I can only use it for 30 days and after those 30 days are up I'll have to pay $30 for it. Now I'm going to be comparing these two programs to see if we can just stick with 7-Zip or should we pay those $30 and have WinRAR? So I'll compress this 7.82 megabyte file and see which which program compresses it the best and the fastest. So let's start with WinRAR. So first we have to add it to the R drive. And I'm going to be R drive format is RAW. And the compression method is going to be the best. So okay. Okay, this is the file it just created, and let's see how big it is. It is 7.31 megabytes. Now that is an amazing compression. Let's see if 7-zip can do any better. So we'll do the same thing, so 7-zip, add to hard drive. And now we'll do hard drive format, 7-z, compression level ultra, and we'll just click OK. Now they both uh, took about the same time, I think, to compress there. Well, let's see how well 7-Zip performed. And you can see it has a 4.4 megabytes. So that is much better than WinRAR was just capable of. I reckon that 7-Zip is a much better, uh, better program than WinRAR is. I wouldn't, to be honest, I wouldn't really pay that $30 to get WinRAR. I just don't think it's worth that kind of money. And if you wish to download any of these programs and try try out for yourself, uh, go to their website. There'll be a link in the description. Also, I've never had any problems with 7-Zip before, but when I used to use WinRAR, uh, I had so many problems that I just uninstalled it straight away. Uh, thanks for watching, and be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Tech amigos. Tutorials, news, and reviews.